Make sure that your patient is lying straight on the table. We will be moving her over to the edge of the table in a bit, but the most important thing is making sure she's completely straight on the table. From there, you need to make sure that the tube is angled at a 45 degree angle to the long axis of the table. Most cranes have some kind of a measurement on it that will help you get the 45 degrees, and some of them automatically lock into place at 45 degrees. Now, why do we do that? If the left hip is the hip of interest, the femoral neck comes out of the body anywhere between 50 and 40 degrees. Halfway between 50 and 40 is 45. So we want the central ray to be perpendicular to the long axis of the neck. So if I am angling my tube at 45 degrees, I will be perpendicular to the long axis of the femoral neck.